struggling to keep up to date with your finances? Well, if you are, then this is the right podcasting episode for you. Welcome to another episode of 30 Minutes with DailyStraits.com. This is your host, June Rumbi. Our guest today, I mean, our show today has got something to do with money management app Frollo. Frollo is a purpose-driven fintech app that helps businesses use open banking data to deliver better customer outcomes, right from reducing debt and increasing savings to providing a better and more personalized customer experience. So uh, last year, Frollo won the uh, best money management app uh, by Mozo, and it was also recently featured on the uh, Today Show. So today we are lucky to be able to speak with the uh, head of product for Frollo, uh, Chris Devon, and ask him firsthand on uh, about the benefits of the app and uh, how best to use it. Um, so without further ado, let's invite Chris to the show to tell us more about the app. Hi, Chris. Thank you so much for making time to speak with us today. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, June. Uh, so I'm excited t- for today's podcast. Awesome. So let's dive right into the question. So, um, you know, you're the best person to say this. So head of product, basically, they know head and tail what the app is about. So give us a complete like lowdown on what Frollo is. Yeah, so uh, Frollo is a purpose-driven fintech, and we're on a quest to change or improve the financial well-being of 5 million Australians by 2026. So we do this by providing money management tools to businesses um, that we'd be familiar with, which may be Virgin Money, uh, CanStar, uh, Bank of Queensland, to name a few. And we provide that to our customers so they can give those features back to their own individual customers. And that's how we plan on achieving that 5 million mark. We also have a free app, which has 150 customers on there. And we use that as a test bed to really test out new features that really change the financial well-being and improve the financial well-being of our user set. Awesome. So I always wanted to know what a product, a head of product does for any company. So since I have you in here and I was wondering, what is your role actually in Polo? Like, do you look at the back end or do you like if there's any like a no, the app goes bust. Do you fix that or? <laughs> yeah, no, no. Uh, product seems to be one of those things that uh, people forget about. Uh, but, uh, you know, when they think about technology, they always think about the developers. But, you know, when I think about product and, and the team that we have, we're really about championing for the customer. We're the champion for the customer. And what we try and do is we try and look at our users' problems and we try it to solve them with either new products or new features. And so, you know, from a day-to-day perspective, you know, a lot of it is taking input from our users, our business partners, uh, the internal teams that we have, and we look at a number of different issues that, you know, any technology company has, and we try and decipher that and bring up new ideas. We dream these up, and then we work with our development team, which is extremely good, to execute on those ideas. Okay, that's great. So on average, users save quite a bit, 1,100 when they sign up with Frollo's app to manage their money. So um, I was just wondering, right, do you have a real life example on how one can achieve this? Like maybe uh, give us an example, because it's quite a bit of saving $1,100, especially in this economy. Yeah, yeah, no. So uh, so I think, you know, when, when I look at finance and, and not even just our app aside, um, what our app does is, so let me start again. So. <laughs> When you look at finance, uh, what our app tries to achieve is that we try and get a 360 degree view of your finance. And what that means is, you know, for many of us, we have a bank account with, you know, maybe one of the major fours. We've got another bank account somewhere else. We may have a raise account. Um, You know, we have all these accounts sitting everywhere. And what we try and do is bring them all into one place. So it all starts with just really understanding where your money is going. Right, so that's just basics, and that's what we, we provide with an open banking experience. And, and we'll go through what open banking is just a little bit later. But from seeing where your money's going, it's then about making better decisions. So we have tools that you're able to track your bills and your subscriptions, because very often you forget about those and you just look at your bank account and they've taken you know the $15, $10. We allow you to visualize and set up goals so that you can say to yourself, okay, 
I've got a goal in place. I need to visualize it and I want to track towards it. And we also have ways that you can set up plans to spend a little less on the things that you want to maybe curb. Maybe it's your restaurant spend. Maybe it's going out into bars. And that's really about, you know, what we'd call, you know, an AKA would be a budget. And so what we try and do is we try and bring those toolkits and make it really simple for you to use and really easy for you to understand where your money's going. And then we provide some slight nudges along the way, right? And that may be, hey, you've spent a little bit, you're 20% more on your bunning spent, for instance, than you usually would. And But I mean, ultimately what it comes down to, and I use this gym analogy a lot, you know, everyone knows how to get in better shape, right? So you generally, you, you know, control your, your eating and, you know, do, do physical activity and same with your finance, right? But very often it just becomes really complicated because you've got your finance everywhere. Yeah. So start simple, get it all into one place. And we provide those toolkits just to make it easier for you to understand where your money's going so that you yourself can consciously make better decisions on your money. Awesome. Okay, so I got to ask this. So with all the security breaches that have been happening in Australia lately, how safe are customers' data with Frodo? Because you have a lot of sensitive information. Like, how safe is it? Yeah, sure. You know, we, we the world is becoming more digital and data security is extremely important. And we take it very, very seriously. So some context. So a few years ago, what the government saw was that people were sharing their data by providing their username and password. So whether it be in, you know, in a loan experience or whether it be in a personal finance management app. And that technology is classified as screen scraping. It was unregulated uh, and really the consumer wasn't at focus. Once you share stuff, it just kind of dissipated. It, you know, you, it wasn't transparent. So when what the government set out to do is they saw that this was, this was important and so what they set to do was set out a framework for security, regulating the way you use your data and making sure that it's transparent. And what that's called is called open banking. And so we use open banking as a, a, a way to for you to use your data, the data that you own in this consumer data right, and that we provide the use case and the transparency for you to use the data in the way that you choose. And so you know, with Frollo, it's all about you controlling your data. And that's the same with open banking. You consent to sharing that data for a specific period of time. And with that regulated framework that the government has, we've had to, you know, ensure that our security is as high as, as a bank grade. So, you know, to answer your, your question, very important for us, the framework that the government's provided ensures that we are a regulated entity that needs to ensure that your data is secure. And and we, that's just that it, we take it very seriously. So, and we continue to improve on that to make sure that your data is safe. Awesome. So you've not had any leakages before, right? Touch wood. No, we haven't. Okay, Touch great. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta ask that. It's just been crazy these past few weeks. So what is the, uh, so the app is partially free or is it, is absolutely free? free yeah absolutely free okay so this is a business question so how do you make your money on Frollo if everything is free like where's the <laughs> yeah yeah that, that, that's fine so um so as I mentioned earlier on you know what we do is that we make our money by selling our money management toolkits to other businesses and so they can provide it for their customers so uh you know let me you know Put it put in easy terms. When you open up your banking app, they may have a number of features, and those features re require a technology partner, or maybe the bank builds it themselves, right? So if you know you have probably seen a goal feature, you know the bank either chooses to build that feature, or they choose to partner with a technology partner like ourselves. So what we do, we provide those those toolkits, that technology that powers those those businesses so whether it be canstar beyond bank pnn virgin money bank of queensland so our business model is about creating really good tech money management tools that we can package up as technology and provide that to to our business partners that we work with and so yeah it, uh, you know our app is 100 percent free and what that allows us to do is make sure that when we provide those money management features 
that we know how they work, how they create the impact that we need. And so, you know, we're basically, uh, you know, that app allows us to test those features and really grab that user feedback and improve those features before our partners use it. Great, great. Okay, so um, right now, probably a lot of people are using pen and paper or they even go on to spreadsheets or, you know, Apple has a feature called numbers where you can do your budgeting there as well. So I am just wondering, like, if you can give us, like, an elevator pitch, like, what's the benefits of using Solo? Like, you know, leaving all your past habits behind and, you know, going full full on with Frollo. Yeah. Uh, so I, I think, you know, when we think about finance, we really think about simplicity. Uh, and so yeah, that that would be the, the first part. And the second part is, you know, very often with spreadsheets and, you know, they've been around for forever. Uh, very often where they fall short is that, you, oh, you forget because oh, I forgot that invoice or I forgot to put it in that spreadsheet. And what happens is, that because it's not always up to date, you can't really make the decisions on the run, right? So now we live in a very digital world. If I'm sitting on the beach or I'm on holidays, I'm able to not, don't need to go back to that spreadsheet. I can look at a real simple app on my phone and be able to make better decisions that also help me by providing these nudges along the way to help me guide me in the right direction. So, you know, uh, no, no diss on the spreadsheet. It's been around forever, and it will be. Uh, but you know, for us, it's about that simplicity and always being up to date and not having those things that are just forgotten. Okay, a recent survey commissioned by Savvy, another company, um, into savings and investment habits of Australians, showed that saving rates are significantly lower. Like ninety percent report that they don't save money regularly. So um, I know it's a Frollo is a money management app, right? So can you just tell us right how uh, Frollo can help break that habit? Because saving money for a rainy day is always a good thing. Uh, for sure, <laughs> uh, and, and you know it comes back down to you know for breaking a bad habit, a lot of it just comes down to being conscious of the habit existing, and so you know when I come back to that you know, approach that we have at Frollo about simplicity. If you have many different places that your money's at, mm -hmm. e.g. you have many different bank accounts, it's really hard for you to be conscious and know where your money's going. And therefore you can't break that habit, right? Because you're confused. So, you know, for us, it just starts with step one. Make it simple. Bring in all your money into one place, allows you to have that 360 degree view, be conscious of your spend and do it that's the, the key thing. Really, if you think about breaking habits, you know, especially spending habits, it all comes down to when you're about to make that purchase, right? So you, mentally you say to yourself, do I really need this, right? And so, you know, I think also I, I do, maybe I'm, you know, diverting from, from the question as well, but, you know, we finance and using your money, you work hard for it and you want to use it and you want to make be happy, right? So it's never about having zero spend. But it's just about being conscious of your spend, and and then for once you are more conscious of your spend, you realize that sometimes you just don't need those things, right? But if you are confused because you don't know what your position is at this point in time because you've got all these different mechanisms to find out where your money's at, then that's not very helpful, and that's what we're trying to achieve, right? Really, really simple. Really have all that all that information in one place and have it in a regulated and a secure manner. Wow, great. So you did mention the amount of downloads just now. Was it 150,000 you said? Correct. Yes, we have 150,000 users. Wow. So, um, okay, uh, this would be a question for you um, uh, on the company. So what is the expansion plan looking like for next year for the company? Uh, this is a good question. Uh, so for us, uh, you know, we'll continue to drive for that simplicity. <laughs> Uh, and I think, you know, considering where we are with people's finances today, you know, I think that everyone's feeling a, a little stressed with the, the increase in, in prices as well and, and the increases to our mortgages. Uh, for us, what does the future lie? Uh, so I think it, it's evolving from, you know, providing that simple view of your money to really using the technology that we have to break those bigger habits that you have. 
And so for us, you know, because we are impartial, we're not uh, owned by any bank, what we want to be able to do is be able to take you on a journey with your money to be able to help you make dis better decisions on the products that you have in a, in a simplified form. So currently at the moment, we've got the toolkits. What we want to transition to is being able to make you make better actions on the information that we have. So, you know, for us, it's about getting that better product, increasing that better savings, having that better mortgage, removing that credit card that you're not essentially using. And that's the foundation that we want to be building. Okay, so as a head of product, right, are you looking at in, uh, adding any add-ons, new add-ons on the app itself, or um, is it going to be as it is, and then uh, maybe later on you look? Yeah, uh, so uh, from a features perspective, you know, where we've now in the last rounds of testing to be able to add your uh, home, uh, your house, you know, different types of assets and liabilities uh, yeah. that are outside of bank connections so that you can get that 360 degree view. We, we definitely would be looking at, at uh, providing toolkits that allow you to do easy switching. And when the open banking regime uh, changes to what we call action initiation, mm -hmm. we do see a world where, you know, we'll be doing more payments uh, in, the, in the app. So switching, you mean like if they want to switch banks? Uh... Correct. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, to, to better products. Yeah, that's where the roadmap will lead us. So when is this kicking in? Next year? Uh, next, yeah, so the regulation should come out next year and we'll start building towards that. Okay, great. So that's great. It's great to know that. Um, that's all the time that we have for today. We have just been speaking to Chris Devon, the head of product for Frollo. Thank you so much, Chris, for that wonderful interview. Thanks a lot <laughs> for having me. No worries. So, and the pleasure is all ours. Be sure to join us the, in the next chat as we aim to interview another interesting company head from across Australia. Thank you. See you. See ya.